During that period in the U.S., we were, you know, we had a, uh, you know, the, the strong civil rights movement going, and uh, and also uh, the anti-war movement. But in both of those cases, you know, at the beginning in the early '60s, you see the message being sort of written between the lines in the songs, exactly. right? Uh, things like "Blown in the Wind," mm -hmm. um, and uh, but by the end of the decade, by the end of the 60s, of course, it's just very political and very out and out direct. Is there, is there some kind of a transition like that in South exactly. Africa as well? Yeah, so you, you see that in Athel Fugard's work, uh, you know, his play Blood Knot uh, has a white, uh, or well, uh, under South Africa in the parlance it would have been colored, right, which is the, yeah. in, in America that's a, a pejorative term, but in South Africa, that's a, a term from the apartheid era yeah. for someone of mixed race that is still used today in South Africa. Um, so somebody would call themselves colored. Uh, so there is a, a half white, half black uh, brother, and then there's an entirely black brother because they ha have the same African mother, and one has a white uh, father, one has a black father. And so they are just living under these conditions. They're not trying to change their lives. Yeah. In fact, they are saving for what they call the farm in the future, which is that kind of idea of the future, the, the idea of a reconciled South Africa. And then they decide to spend the money that they saved on that farm on the fantasy of the colored brother passing as white. Uh, and of course it fails. So that's an example of a play where it's not overtly political. Yeah. He's not seeking to overturn the government. Yeah. He's just living under the circumstances that uh, are provided by apartheid.